Working below the starter motor on the left side of the engine, disconnect the crankshaft sensor electrical connectors indicated by the green arrows. The starter motor has been removed only for picture taking purposes. You can do this job without removing it. Next, remove the crankshaft sensor E8 mounting fastener, green arrow. There is not a lot of room. So I use an extension with a swivel head attached to an E8 socket on my quarter inch drive ratchet. Once the fastener is removed, throw it away. It's aluminum and cannot be reused. Once the fastener is removed, pull the crankshaft sensor out of the engine block. Be sure the sealing O-ring comes out with the sensor. If it stays in the block, retrieve it with a small pick. If the sensor gives you trouble coming out, Gently lever it between the center retaining bracket and the engine block. Be careful not to damage the engine block. Install the new sensor and sealing O-ring. Torque the sensor to the engine block 8 newton meters or 6 foot-pounds. Reconnect the electrical connector and install the engine splash shield. Start your vehicle and allow it to idle for about one minute. Check that the crankshaft sensor area is free of oil leaks. If your check engine light was on, now is the time to clear any fault codes and you're done. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.